um, getting out with a another buddy of mine. We're gonna we're driving around trying to get a few permissions and uh, trying to get permission on this house here. It's a nice old home, and uh, looks like we might be able to do this one. So uh, a little idea of the old yard. We're gonna hopefully get through here and see what else, see what we can come up with. And uh, if I find anything or if my buddy finds anything, we'll see you on the first clip. All right, guys, uh, first clip. Uh, we've been here for about a good half hour. Uh, this home here, it was built in the 1890s. Lots of property around. Uh, we're just working on the front yard a little bit. We've got Dave over there. And uh, actually that home back there too is part of the property. So might be here for a while, maybe the whole day. But uh, I just came up through, through here, got uh, several uh, wheat pennies I didn't film. Uh, probably about four of them now a little bit of modern clad. We're pretty sure that this place hasn't been hit But uh, my first good coin of the day is gonna be an Indian Looks like uh, 1890 something maybe I don't know I could be wrong But not in bad shape and it's funny because the uh, the wheat pennies here were coming up uh, almost in my Indian signal and I thought that's what this was gonna be, but definitely an Indian head, so we'll take that. But we're gonna continue on this house. There was an old tennis court over there. Um, like I said, we'll probably be here the whole day, but uh, all right, we'll get back to you if we find something else good. See you on the next. All right, guys, uh, I come around this bush here. There's the front of the house through these uh, laurels there. Um, I still, I'm not done with the front there. Dave's working in the front a little bit, but I came around here and uh, just decided to try here. And this goes up along a stone wall, but uh, got a screaming signal here. I thought it was gonna be a piece of uh, a can or something, but got the first silver of the day. It's 1947 Silver Washington. And it wasn't too deep either. It was pretty shallow, but that's why I thought it was gonna be a piece of aluminum can. But, uh, all right, we're going to continue up through here. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure this has never been hunted, so uh, hopefully there will be more. See you on the next one. All right, still going at it. I was up along that stone wall. I got a couple of chewed up pieces. Oops, sorry about that. Chewed up pieces of a lantern over here. And uh, it's been pretty quiet in here, but came across a signal, and it sounded like it was nickel, but it was bouncing around a little bit. Turns out to be a buffalo nickel. And uh, looks like there's going to be a date on it too. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Oop, hold on a second. Looks like 1936 or 34. I'll let you know on the wrap up, but hey, we'll take the buffaloes. Um, my buddy was over there, my hunting partner today. Uh, he's already found a large scent, and it looks like he found a U.S. half scent. On the other side of the wall over there so uh before we before we pack up before he drops me off i'll get a uh get a video a little clip of what he found too but it's turning out to be a nice little property so uh we're gonna keep going got a lot of yard left here don't even know if we're gonna get it to finish it today but we're gonna try so all right we will see you if there's another find all right another good target just came out um i've been all through over there ended up finding a bunch of uh roofing tacks which sound great uh we did a lot of the front yard um dave found another silver dime over there and we're kind of covering the side here but uh i got a scratchy signal in the hole and popped it out and i just took it over to him we're pretty sure that's a victorian gold ring now maybe gold plated we're not sure. I don't see any numbers in it, any kind of uh, markings in there. It's very small, but we're almost positive it's going to be gold. I'm going to get it cleaned up, and uh, there's a jeweler that I take some of these finds to that I'm not sure with, and we're going to see if it's gold. But it cleaned up nice. There was no, nothing flaking off of it, so uh, hopefully we got a gold ring. But, all right, it's getting a little bit late, but we're still going. So, uh, we'll take that, man. That's awesome. But, uh, 
All right, we'll get back to you if we find something else. All right, um, just found the ring over here a few minutes ago and was kind of coming through this side of the yard here. And uh, I hit a signal that sounded like a coin. It was hitting in the 70s on my Ace 400, but I think this is going to be part of a bracelet. And looks like it might be silver. There's no markings on it that I can see. But uh, I'm going to sweep the area around in here and see if there's any more pieces of this. But that's a pretty cool find. Anyway, all right, we'll see if we can find the rest of it or some of it, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so we're still going. Getting later in the day. Probably not going to be here much longer, but I uh, already covered this front yard, and Dave wanted to go over there a little bit. So both of us covered it long ways up and down, and while I'm waiting for him, I just started going back and forth uh, crossways and uh, found a signal that I missed. Got a mercury dime here. Not sure of what year, but we'll take it no matter what. Let's see. Let's see if we can see that. Get a focus. Looks like 43, maybe. I don't know. We'll get in the wrap up, but almost done here. Uh, probably be getting going soon, but. Um, Hey, we'll take another silver for the day. That's only my second silver today, but we'll take it. All right, see you on the next or on a wrap-up. All right, guys, we're uh, getting ready to pack it up. Um, homeowner came out and said she's ready to go somewhere, so she wants us to wrap it up. But uh, I just found something I have never found before. It's a bucket lister for me. This looks like a Civil War era three-ringer bullet. Now I'll get it cleaned up and show it better in the wrap up. I just wanted to uh, get this on film first, but that is incredible. I never expected to find one of those. But all right, we will uh, we'll see you on the wrap up. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a real quick wrap up at the car. Um, this is some of the stuff that Dave found. He found an awesome naughty dog, which that's only the second one I ever seen. Um, he got himself some Wheaties, a couple of Mercury Dimes, a little silver piece off of a ring. Uh, he found two large cents and, you know, got my bucket listers for, you know, the, the year. But, eh, what are you going to do? He got an Indian flat button, another button, and a whole pile of clad there. And as far as the keepers on mine, I'll show you these later. I'm going to clean everything up. But I just found 10 minutes ago this uh, three-ringer bullet Civil War era, which... I never even had it on my bucket list because I never expected to find something like that up in northern PA. But uh, a couple pieces of lead, big ring, a uh, bunch of wheat pennies. I got that silver Washington, uh, mercury dime, got an Indian, and a buffalo. There's that ring that may be gold. Found another little piece of silver there. Pretty sure that's going to be silver. Found a Canadian penny. This might be part of a two-piece button, just the cap of it. It's been destroyed. I'll... Let you know when I clean it up. And I found two lead animals. They're both uh, sheep or ram. So I'll get these cleaned up and I will show you on a wrap up when I clean everything up. But all in all, awesome day. Gorgeous property. We're hoping to get back here again. We never even covered the whole thing. I mean, there's tons of it back there that we didn't do. So, but all right, I'll see you on the wrap up. Hey guys, what's up? So those were the clips. Um, of the finds that me and my buddy Dave made uh, the other day. This is about two days later. I'm going to do the wrap up now on a 1890s house that we uh, found door knocking. Um, I'll go through real quick just the notable finds that I had. Um, so with this stuff, just uh, this here is like a brass uh, barrel tap. Of course. Seems like I can never go anywhere without finding one or two of these things. These things sound great. These old flower tags. Um, you dig them up and you, you know, you curse them out. <laughs> um, this is a piece of a lantern that I found. I found several pieces in the hole and they were all broken up. This is the biggest piece of it, but part of an old lantern. I thought this was part of a two-piece button, but I think it's just a piece of a... It's just a cap or something, a couple scrap pieces of uh, 
copper maybe here. Um, I did find two lead animals. They're both the same thing. They're both sheep. Now, Dave found a naughty dog. And those of you that have uh, never seen one, I, I showed it in the last clip when we did the quick uh, wrap up at the car. It's a lead uh it's a lead dog, but it is in the process of pooping. <laughs> so that was pretty cool to see that. I've only ever seen one of those, and uh, Dave was lucky enough to find that um, when we were out. But as far as coins, uh, I got some clad there. I got two quarters, two dimes, four nickels, like six copper pennies, and a couple of crusty uh, zinc pennies there. But as far as the good finds... I found a bucket lister for myself. Um, did not expect to find this, especially up here in northern Pennsylvania. But this is a Civil War three ringer, uh, Civil War era three ring bullet, and uh, it's not in bad shape. It's got a little bend there. I don't know the, how to tell if they were fired or not. I don't. I don't think it was. It probably would have been flattened out if it was. But anybody that. Uh, any of my subscribers or anybody watching this, if you know what this is, what kind of uh, caliber or what kind of uh, rifle might have fired this, I'd appreciate it if you let me know in the comments. Like I said, this is not something that I'm used to finding up here. I mean, if I was down closer, like down in southern PA and found this, you know, maybe related to like Gettysburg or something like that. But I'm in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, which is northeastern PA, so I don't think there was much of the... Uh, much of the Civil War going on up here, but I know there was some training camps around here uh, for Union soldiers. Uh, one was in the town of Luzerne, which isn't too far away from me. Um, or you know, maybe it's just from that you know just from that time period. But at any rate, that's a bucket lister that I never even had on my bucket list because uh, I never expected to find one. So that was pretty awesome. And that was right at the end of the day. The lady had asked us to uh, wrap it up because. She was getting ready to leave, and she just didn't want us there when she was uh, when she was gone, which is fine. But anyway, so I got that awesome three ringer. I had a uh, looks like a little pistol ball there, musket ball. There's some other pieces of fragments of lead, or you know, one I think is a melted lead. It could be bullets or whatever. But um, let's see. As far as the jewelry, now when I got this home and started cleaning it. I'm thinking this still possibly might be a gold ring. Now it's starting to crack. Um, and one of the stones came out. I'm going to take this up to a jeweler that I that I talk to a lot and see if this is gold. So this, the jury's still out on this. This could be gold, could be gold plated. I mean, it, it looks pretty good. But we'll find out. I'll uh, I'll take it up, you know, in the next couple of days or whatever. This here, I believe, is a piece of a sterling bracelet or some other type of jewelry. There's no marking on it, but it cleaned up pretty nice. So I'm thinking that might be uh, sterling. It's got a nice little some. I don't know if there are rhinestones or or what, but it's got some little stones in there, kind of fancy. But as far as the good stuff that I found, uh, besides this stuff, I did end up with two silver coins. Um, I got a 1947 Washington Quarter, a 1941 Mercury Dime. This Buffalo is 1934, and it's a D. It's not in too bad a shape, considering, but you can also see, let me see if I can get it close up. There is a mint mark underneath the uh, five cents there, and it's a D. I got this Indian, it's a little beat up, but not in too bad a shape. This was $18.99, and let me see if I can, yeah, you can, might be able to make that out there, there you go. And I ended up with, well this is an older Jefferson, it's 1940, so just missed being a Buffalo by like what, two years, three years, and I got a... Canadian 1961 Canada penny and there's the other side and I did end up with some wheats those top four up there they're pretty toasted most of the wheats seem to have come out kind of toasty um, 
I can't really get a date on them. One, I think, is 1910, but I'm not sure. It's really hard to read. And as far as the other ones, uh, I got a couple of earlier ones, 1920, 1926. Uh, there's a 37, a 41, a 45, and a 1951D. Now, that was the hunt. We were there for, God, probably five, six hours. We, uh, we didn't have to go anywhere else because that yard was just so huge. And uh, there was a lot of property there. And the lady did tell us that we can come back. Uh, we covered the most obvious areas, but there's still a lot to explore. So uh, we're going to try to get back out there. You know, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But um, also, the uh, the guy that I was with, his name is Dave. He has his own uh, YouTube channel called Wyoming Valley Relics. Now, I have he sent me two pictures of the two large scents that he found. Um, he did find a Liberty Cap uh, large scent and a Classic Head large scent. And uh, he wasn't able to get a date off of them, clean them up, but just enough to ID them. And I have two pictures of that, which I'll throw up in the... Uh, at the end of the video there but if you get a chance go over and check out his channel he's a small channel but uh he told me he wants to start making some more videos and uh showing you know sh showing some of the stuff that he finds so uh any of my subscribers or anybody watching this go over check out his channel i don't know how many videos he's got but he did put a, a little a short clip out uh last week um made a really awesome find nice little spill of coins um, you'll have to check that out, um, but go over, check them out, tell them I sent you over, and, uh, I'm hoping to do some more hunts with Dave, uh, we were, you know, we had a good time, and we were talking about it a little bit, and I also do some hunts with, um, with Chris from Detecting NEPA, and, uh, I'm hoping that we can all get together and go out and, you know, do some, do some, uh, do some good hunts this year, um, so, Stay tuned for that. Hopefully, we'll be doing some more collaborations, getting out to some more places, maybe get on some older stuff. Um, the both of them, you know, the one time uh, last week that I went with Chris, he found uh, a large scent. And then I went out with Dave, and he found two. <laughs> um, I'm that close. Uh, we're, we're getting on the properties. I'm that close to finding one. It's been on my my bucket list now for I don't know how long. I want to find, I told, told the both of them, my ultimate goal this year is to find a large scent and a uh, a barber quarter. That's the, the my two white whales. So I'm hoping to hoping to hit one of those this year. And uh, we're we've been in the right places, but just got to get my coil over it. But all right, so that was my hunt for this week. Uh, I'm hoping to get out a little bit more now. The weather's you know finally starting to uh, get nice out now. As a matter of fact, I got bit by my first mosquito la last night. So you know the warm weather is right around the corner, but. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there, those of you that are doing it. Stay safe. We'll see you on the next one.